Hey, how's it going? I am Zoc, and welcome. We're going to be playing some more Winds of Exchange tonight. We have a Archon best of three match versus Southerly Elf. So, let's see. If they are ready, they're making another quick Zocktail. Perfect. And we'll get going. So let's let's see what's going on in the Key Forge world. Um Hey, we gotta change that text. That's not right. Okay. That's better. That's better. Okay, yeah, let's let's see what's going on. Let's see what what people are playing in competitive right now. Um we're going to watch this game. Okay, we got a looks like mass mutation deck logo star lines on tame versus another mass mutation deck logo star lines on tame. It's a mirror match. So that's going on. Uh, what else is going on? You can see what Mad Apps and Gemini's is playing. We got Mass Mutation from Gemini's, Logo Saurian Shadows versus an AOA deck, Rat Cheek, the Hitman of Taxation. I've seen that deck. I've seen it for sale, and you may have seen it for sale if you watch Fresh Marks. Okay. Let's see. What else do we got going on here? Um, let's see what Shaka and Moy Bien are playing. We got Moy Bien on Mass Mutation, Double In Furnace, Kurzap. Ultra Gravitron, and we got Shaka playing some Woe with a Raider token. Robnar Mars Unfathomable. Hey! Thanks, Zoded, for the subscription. You rock. Thanks so much. Hey, Quick Draw. Um, we got an ABR match right now. Um, not sure when Fresh Marks is happening. It'll happen sometime. Um... It'll happen sometime. It probably won't happen today, though. So, sorry. And, uh... Yeah, so probably tomorrow or Friday. Yeah, what's up, Quick Dross? Amber Medes, Zoded. Nice to see all of you. Uh, we're just waiting for Southerly Elf to be ready. Let's see what... Zane, BR, and Blade Scepter. Let's see what they're playing. We got more Mass Mutation. I had heard for a while that Mass Mutation was not being played that much, but we're mostly seeing Mass Mutation. But here we got Zane's playing a really cool Winds of Exchange deck. Look at this Cassiel with three draw pips. This Katarina the Summer with two capture pips, that is beautiful, beautiful. So on play, it gets three amber, it dies, it makes three tokens. Oh, it's got him to Duma, double closed door negotiation. Oh, it's a 10 Geika deck. All right, that's pretty cool. People are playing some cool stuff. Winds of Exchange is fun. There's always tomorrow, that's right. All right, Southerly Elf just made a gin and tonic. I have an old-fashioned skull. Okay, let's uh, make a game. Oh, they just made one. Cool. We'll jump right in. Oh, yeah, what are we playing? We are playing Liver Vector, the Linguist Farmer. Yeah, we got to get fresh marks in because I saw that you were selling uh, a big Winds of Exchange at Quick Draw. 
Thanks, Ambermedes. Yeah, I hope to. We'll see. Good luck and have fun. Let's see what they're playing. They're playing Scamp, Signy, Jigensaw. Let's check it out. A researcher. Okay, Brobnar Mars Unfathomable. A uh, triple befuddle with uh, illusions of grandeur. They don't actually make a ton of tokens. Replay pod. What's that one do again? Each friendly Mars creature gains destroyed. Place this creature face down. Ooh, that's really good. They got a Mars Needs Ember too. Rant and Rive. Brick Nasty. Double Might Club with Brick Nasty is really good. Okay, what do we got here? We have two Mars Needs Ember in our starting hand. Normally a 4-3. I like the hole, but we want most of these cards later. We want the all three of these Mars cards later. The Mix, the Tall Minded, the Double Mars Needs Ember. We want the Echo Reflector later. We want the Katrina Warp later. So we're going to mulligan this. Uh, we want the Ammonia Cloud later too, actually. We're going to start with... Um, we got both of our, we're going to start with Brobnar and put out the fire spitter. We have both of our ways to enable Marsney Zimber in our starting hand, um, which depending how quickly they get some Ember could be good or could be bad. But fire spitter is a really good researcher. Um, Anti-researcher. Okay, so they smack me. I think we're going to go Mars here. We'll play Mark II Generator. We will generate a Berserker, which was our Ged Hammer. That's unfortunate. We'll play out the Glixel Weaponsmith. We'll play out Borka Rick and Intern. We'll hold on to our Ammonia Clouds and Mars Needs Ember, but do they have a lot of... They don't actually have a lot of big creatures. Not a lot. So our Mars Needs Ember might not be getting a lot anyway. Triple befuddle, bruh, man. I'm going to be befuddled a lot. And Ammonia Clouds doesn't do anything against Mars. Ooh, we have our Crutchy. Okay, now things got interesting. Too bad I dies to Ammonia Clouds. How much can they capture? Uh, they have a Mixotol Minded, which they just played with a Capture Pip, and they have a Strato Smack with a Capture Pip. Ooh, two Covetous Hema. So maybe that Crutchy is actually a discard. Um, yeah, let's go Star Alliance here. Okay, we got our Revna Star Song. That's pretty good with having two Berserkers out. We also set up so we can get some value out of our Mars Needs Ember if we need to. Huh, they use genetic blast on Borka Rick, huh? That's interesting. Are they concerned that I'm going to discard a bunch of Mars? Maybe. Oh, here comes the Unfathomable. Covetous Hema comes out. Okay, it's Mars time. So first we want to... Mars needs Amber twice. Borka Rook will fight into Mix of Tall Minded. Then we will Ammonia Clouds. We'll kill all of theirs. Keep all of ours alive. We'll reap here. And we'll get the check. And we don't go to eight because they have Rant and Rive.
And now we have a really nice Sprobnar churn lined up. So maybe we'll miss some of the befuddles. We'll see. Okay, they're going Brobnar. They get out their Brick Nasty, a Might Club. What else have they got? Are they thinking of the, if they're going to play their Rent and Rive? Vow of Blood could do a lot of damage to me. That'd be really good. They do play the Rent and Rive. Okay. So we're going to go Brobnar here. We're actually going to Strato smack the Brick Nasty so that we can Berserker slam it. We're going to play out our Jarl Savend, our Revna. We're going to discard the Krichi because of their Covetous Hemas, and then we'll, we'll reap three times. Oh, wow, and then we got three more Brobnar. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to... Ooh, they get us with our own Mars Needs Ember. They get it on three of my creatures. They get down an Airlock, and they get down a Memox the Red. We're going to go straight back into Brobnar, play out our Earthshaker, play out our Bumpsy, play out our Pelf. We'll fight the Memrox with the Jarl Svend. So we make another Berserker, and then we will reap five times to get to check again. Okay, so if they can't control my board, they're, they're toast here. What do they have? They do have a, they have Kaboom, Maelstrom. So both of those, yep, here's the Maelstrom, then Crushing Deep. To an illusions of grandeur into what? Hopefully Star Alliance. Oh, uh, they say Brobnar. Do I give him a key here? I think I do, actually. Actually, I have Echo Reflector, so I wouldn't give him a key. Were they thinking if they're going to befuddle me too? No, they would have befuddled me if they hadn't. So I've gotten pretty lucky that they haven't got any of their befuddles yet. So we'll go Star Alliance here. So they get three Ember because of that. Um, Plout Scout Chief. Which plays out. That, which takes our Earthshaker, which is fine. We'll play out the... It's your Officer Hawkins here to get Amber. The Friendly Guide here. The Echo Reflector on Friendly Guide. Uplink, which I never use, is going to be there. Do we hold on to our Contrino Warp? Are we afraid... That they're going to create a big board. No, they only have 11 creatures. We are not afraid of their board. We're going to discard that. Okay, so check with 10. In the Brobnar, they go Volka, Jarl Svend. And they do have a Might Club. Stratosmack, the... Friendly guide. That's too bad. Oh, they've read it. They use a researcher. Interesting. Why wouldn't they want to fight me? Interesting. I think I just go Brobnar here and play out all these Brobnar guys. They will get a key, but then I have another scary board from them to deal with. They do have Kaboom, so we got to remember the Kaboom. Uh, Berserker will just fight Volka, I think, here. 
It does give him another Omni action, but that's okay. And we got a fresh marks, that's nice. Uh-oh, unfathomable, here we go. Do they have double befuddle coming? What's up, Dinobot? Nice to see you. Why no token? Uh, I'm not sure when that was, sorry. I gotta pay attention more, my bad. Okay, here comes Covetous Hema, befuddle. What did they befuddle me into? Brobnar? That's fine. I want to go Brabnar. During their next turn, they cannot play cards of other houses. Okay. I'm cool with that. Researcher archive scooped up and clone home before. Okay, so we'll go Brabnar here. We we'll use fresh marks here to do that. Um, we'll play out Revna and get hammer and fire spitter will fight here we'll reap twice and pelf will fight just for good measure check with nine and we drew into more good stuff berserker slam marzini zimber Okay, so the first game went really well for us. We'll have to see. I don't think they have a way to come back. They could maybe stall. Um, they already use their. Oh, they have three crushing deep, so they could potentially stall with that. They they do go unfathomable. Crushing deep it is, and a befuddle for Brobnar again, and another befuddle. For Star Alliance. That's fine. I can just go Brobnar again. Fight. Reap. 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 We'll just keep the Berserker Slam. Here comes the Mars. Here comes a Kaboom. Who are they going to scoop? Get Hammer. There's a Kaboom. Replay Pod. If they get the replay pod early, that could be scary. Clone home. All right, that's game. Okay, so that one went well. Uh, rematch. Let's rematch. Oh, it did not work. And I can't watch, or I can't join it. I can only watch it. Refresh, refresh. Um, not happening. Okay, he will rec recreate. Whoop, whoop. Thank you, thank you. All right, there we go. Liver vector we go. Oh, he left. Oh, he's back. All right. Uh, I think they get to um, get a choice of starting first. Okay, cool. They're going to go first anyway. Okay. Oh, man. Double mix of home minded in our starting hand.
Um, I think we mulligan. Creechy and double berserker slam. <laughs> that's that's something. That's something, all right. They go Brobnar. And play flamethrower. Oh, that's really good with their Marzni Zimber. Well, shucks. I guess. I guess I'll play uh, Bromnar here. Do I play the Creechy? Let's play it. It might be a mistake. We'll save the other Berserker Slam. Oh man, we drew in a, a bunch of Bromnar. Three more Brobnar, wow. Okay. Well, that's okay, because then if they damage my Creechy, I can just kill it. Okay, they Strato smacked it, that's fine. Mmm, they get a uh, Press Gang and a Strato Smack. Very nice. Gotta kill all those um, researchers before they get. Ooh, a befuddle was under one of those. That's sweet. Before they get replay pot out there. All right, I got the ammonia clouds, Marzini's ember already set up. Ooh, they go back into Brobnar. They archive scoop up with a researcher. If flamethrower and Volca, they could do some work here. Might club. We cannot let those researchers live. Flamethrower, Vow of Blood, that's a nice combo. What's Volca do here? Ooh, they have their own Jarl Svend. Volca takes out Revna, that makes sense. And Press Gang, okay, we gotta get rid of those. We could go Brobnar here and then fight and reap. Or we could go Mars, Ammonia Clouds, and Mars Knees Ember. I think that's better. I, I get to see more, more cards. Iron X Propaganda, we'll put it on Tall Minded. Okay, what was under their other Clone Home or Clone Home and Crushing Deep were under their other researchers? Okay. So, yeah, they have a good combo where they can Crushing Deep into Rant and Rive. If it's on the second key or third key. So we gotta watch out for that. Okay, here comes the befuddle. They say Mars. Comes Covetous Hema and Double Crushing Deep. Okay, that combo's gone. I don't have great options here. I guess I'll just go Mars and Reap. I could discard all my Star Alliance. It's actually not a bad play. Yeah, I think I can do that actually. I'm just going to go Star Alliance and discard five cards. And then I drew in the three more Star Alliance. What? Oh, hey, what's up? AB Right Light. Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, things are going good. I had a, a pretty good 
game one and we're game two is early on so it's still very exciting anything could happen and i just discarded five cards you know those vault tour winning plays not that i have ever won a vault tour and probably never will but um But I have discarded cards to win games before. Okay, let's see what happens here. The fact that I drew into three more Starlands cards means that I probably made the wrong play last turn. Okay, they go Mars. I wonder, they, they have a Mars Needs Ember. Well, their clone home was already got rid of. Oh, replay, replay pod is out. Okay. Mixital minded is out. Okay. I think I'll go Brobnar here. Because I can strato smack the Hema. And my Berserker from Stratosmax can kill Mix. That's going to be a good combo with Mix. Um, hmm. And Rebel. Oof, duh. Let's see, if I go Star Alliance, I do make another Brobnar creature. Let's go Star Alliance here. Do we do damage to? If we do it to Rebel, then when if we fight with Fire Spitter, uh, let's do it to Covetous Hema though, just in case we want to do a Mars Needs Ember play. Okay, we didn't draw into it anyway, but we did draw in the Mixatol Minded, which might be good. Uh-oh, here comes the unfathomable. Covetous Hema fights Fire Spitter. And then they play another Covetous Hema and a Guilt Spine Netcaster. And they befuddle me into Star Alliance. Yeah. That was a nice, nice befuddle there. Okay. All three befuddles are gone now. So we got to get some good use out of our cards here. I think we just go Mars and Reap, actually. And we'll discard the Borka, Rick, and the Harvester. I think we'll keep Mix. We can tax him a little. And we made the Berserker into a fresh Marks. Okay. We did get our Mars Needs Ember. So it was probably smart that they killed the Fire Spitter. Always be card discard, and that's right. Discard five cards. That's what you gotta do. Just didn't work out as I planned that time.
Okay, Mark II generator here is nice. If we have to go back into Mars. Uh, Bumsy, Pelf, and Stratosmack are nice. I'd like to keep them off. Check here. I got no more befuddles. I got Quatrina Warp coming. That could be huge. They have all the Ember on their side. Now they do have a Rant and Rive. We gotta make sure that they don't have a way to kill like their Covetous Hema on a Barabnar turn. They already used Val Blood. Oh, they have two Strato Smacks. They could Strato Smack their own Covetous Hema and then play Rant and Rive. Yeah, they've only played one of them. Ooh, here's the other Might Club. Double Might Club's really good. Jarl Sven fights Mix. Okay. Press Gang to make that guy, and then they're probably going to reap with it. Flamethrower? Yeah, they'll reap with the Researcher. Okay, so... The Researcher with Replay Pod is really good. Researcher Archives Kaboom. Okay, definitely got to go Bromnar here. Bumpsy, Pelf, do I strato smack the, Researcher? Or the Covetous Hema? I guess with Berserker I kill the mix. Oh man, but then we're going to get into... Yeah, if I get both of those, that's Rent and Rive territory. Okay, that's too bad. So do I let the Hema live then? Yeah, maybe I do. They're going to get me for Rent and Rive no matter what, I think, based off of, because they can set it up either way. So do I just uh, make them do it right now? Oh yeah, we get another Brobnar guy out of that. Beautiful. Might as well fill up the replay pod. Whatever. That's a super cool combo with the researchers replay pod. Okay, do they have the rent and rive? Seems like they've been setting it up. But I bet all they have, maybe all they have in Brobnar. Okay, they're they're gonna rent and rive. They definitely have the uh, bur um, token maker as well. Yeah, they take their archive, which has a token maker. Oh, they have a brick nasty as well. There's a rent and rive as expected.
I use a brick nasty to fight my pelf. That's a good fight. And then flamethrower, okay, takes out that, and then their press gang. Yep. The mic clubs with the press gang is so good. Let's see, do they have Mars Needs Ember? They do, potentially. But now I can Mars Needs Ember them. Contrino Warp is okay. We're going to go Mars here. Earthshaker. That would have been nice, actually. Okay, we get our other Mars Needs Ember. This one, I think, is looking in their favor because they got the replay pod action going. Um... We'll have to we'll have to see how that goes. Okay, back into Mars. Scoop up. Ooh. Are they going to scoop up my mix? They scooped up my Berserker. They get to see what it was. Oh, it was a uh, Earthshaker. Genetic Blast into the mix. Memrox are red. And that's it. Oh, that means I gotta kill Memrox. So I could go to check, kill it with Contrina Warp, but that would give him a key. I could kill it with Mix. Oh man. Oh, SV3 Lander I could kill it with as well? Hmm. Decisions? Decisions. I'm going to redraw here. So what do I want to redraw? The Mars Needs Ember, Contrina Warp, this, I wouldn't redraw the CR Officer Hawkins. Oh, I wouldn't be able to use the SV3 Lander on the same turn. Okay, so Mars it is. I'm going to go Mars Needs Ember. Put out Glixel Weaponsmith. Oh, we don't have anything to make it a token with anyway. I forgot about that. And we'll fight Memrox. Okay, this is going to be a tough one. They probably have Marcy's Ember here, though, right? Unless it's their last card, but they go Brobnar. They can reap and then use Researcher three times. Oh, man. Strato Smack. Okay. My club to archive airlock. Flamethrower and my club to archive Mars Needs Ember. Wow. So this is seven archives and they have Memrox for the replay pod. So whenever they play that, and so they could play the Kaboom. And then the Memrox the same turn. So what I really need is like a Strato Smack so I could kill it with the Berserker in the same turn. 
Or I guess the Katrina Warp would do that too. Yeah, so let's just hold on to the Katrina Warp. We're going to need that. But then they could just do it turn after turn, right? Oh, man. Okay, but we'll go Star Alliance here. We are going to hold on to our Katrina Warp. I think we have to. SV3 Lander. We got a friendly guide out. An Echo Reflector will play on the bumps. We'll keep our Katrina Warp. And hope that they didn't draw back into Rent and Rive. Yeah, their double mic club with Researcher is sweet. It, now that they got everything set up, their replay pods, double mic clubs, I'm in trouble. The only way I get out of this if, is if I get a super lucky, like, get a bunch of Brobnar creatures on board. Um, oh, Maelstrom, that'll set me back. Covetous Hema. Skullback Crab, Crushing Deep. Did they redraw a Befuddle? Hopefully not. Oops, forgot the damage pip. They do have a Befuddle. Nothing but Star Alliance. Ouch. Oh, I could get to check here if I use a Katrina Warp. Yeah, let's do it, actually. With Vapminder and Mark II Generator and SV3 Lander. Okay, yeah, here comes a Marshurn, as expected. I can kill Memrox. They didn't take their archives. Wow, how they get so, so much Ember? How many did they have to start with? Two. So three, four with the Reaping. Oh, Iron X Rebel with the Memrox. Very nice. Very nice. And they can just keep doing that. Awesome. So we got to kill those guys. I didn't even look to see what I discarded there. Echo Reflector. Or Bumpsy. I don't know. Okay, so they're one key away from the game. I did get to check for the second key, which is good. Oh, okay. That... The replay pod thing only happens once. That's good. That's good. Oh, it purges itself. Okay. That's a super cool combo, though. Which is why I gotta... Every time I see a researcher, it must die. Super cool combo. Oh, wow. This is not good. They killed all my... Everything. And I can only get them off of one here. So that's game. All right. On to game three. Good old Winds of Exchange. Uh, who do I want to go first? Um, I think I'll go first here. 
Yeah, I like that. But do I do March Two Generator first or like Xanthix Harvester first? I think we go Xanthix Harvester first. Okay, they they mulliganed. Probably searching for replay pod. That's probably the one that they want to start out with. Destroy them all and airlock. Dang, a berserker. Vatminder and Mars Needs Ember. Unfathomable. Guilt Spine, Covetous Hema, Crushing Deep. And Befuddle into Mars. Mars it is then. Bumpsy, Echo Reflector. We haven't had good tokenization here. And we'll play the Mars Needs Ember for good measure. Even though it does nothing. But, big board. They do have the Maelstrom. Oh, they go back in Unfathomable. Reap, Reap, Maelstrom? Nope, another Covetous Hema. And a Skullback Crab. And a Crushing Deep. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Creechy Fresh Marks, I think, is the play here. And we'll kill the Vatminder. Now, if they have Rant and Rive, it won't be as cool. Now, the question is, do I Berserker Slam my own Creechy? Uh, not sure. I don't think so. Twelve Ember. Hopefully they don't have the Rant and Rive. Brobnar they go. <laughs> they had it. Yeah, I got the Creechy Fresh Marks combo. Okay. Okay, we got to kill... Oh, they straddle smack my Borka Rick. That's bad. We'll go Star Alliance here. Camaraderie to kill that guy. S33 lander to make one of those. Uplink here and this guy to make another one. Now we know they're, they have creature control coming. They have both a Maelstrom and a Kaboom. Ooh, Genetic Blast, and do they have the Mars Needs Ember? They scoop up Scout Chief. Replay Pod is down. No! It begins. Clone Home. Yes! All right. So we go Brobnar here. We 
reap with Creechy. Play the Earthshaker. Reap, reap, reap. Yarl Svend, good hammer. The Maelstrom, when it happens, will hurt, but. Unfathomable they go. There's a Maelstrom. Illusions of Grandeur, Brobnar. Oh, that's it? Uh, I'm okay with that. I get a key. I'll go Brobnar. Put out a Pelf. Okay, we gotta we gotta be fast here. Guji dinosaur hunter, that's good. Because Oh, they try to spec my guy. Oh yeah, we have to go Mars here. We got we can't let the researchers live. And then we get to use Marzini's Ember for some effect too. And we get, oh man, we made a mixed hole minded into a berserker, unfortunately. Okay, we got to rush to that third key before they get some of their key stuff back. So they got one, they only have one befuddle in the discard. So we still have two befuddles coming. Um, they have two crushing deep there. They have the Rent and Rhyme there. We haven't seen the Mars Needs Ember. And we haven't seen their Mixatol Minded or their Memrox Red. Or their Rebel. Okay, so things are still pretty scary. Things are still scary. Luckily, they don't have a big archives yet. Okay, in the Brobnar they go. I think the only archive they have right now is Clone Home. Jarl Sven, they use it to fight my Berserker to get a Researcher. All about the Researchers. This might be time to use my Contrino Warp, actually. I could kill the Researcher with the Earthshaker, but I could wipe their whole board with Contrino Warp. I kind of like that. Because then I also have Earthshaker if I need it next turn. Uh, they do have Unfathomable. Luckily, I don't think they have a lot of... Yeah, they don't have any token makers in Unfathomable, which is really good because we don't want them to befuddle us and then use the Researcher. Okay, they go Mars. Do they use their clone home? Probably, right? Genetic Blast, Memrox are red, uh-oh. Are they thinking whether they're going to use their Rebel or not? No. The Mars needs Ember? They don't do anything else. What do I have coming? I have a Mars Needs Ember. A Seer Officer Hawkins, a Grunt Work, Xeno Training, Revna is still coming, Stratosmack. Smack. 
And they're going to be drawing into, they probably have two befuddles in hand. So let's get some Brobnar down there. Do we kill our friendly guide here? Yeah, I think we do. Oh, they go back into Mars. Okay, interesting. I doubt they're going to replay pod here. The airlock, Val Blood. Wonder what they're trying to draw. Luckily, they only have one archive, so Memrox isn't a huge threat yet. Okay, they reap. Our next rebel comes out. And then they reap again. And then Marzini Zimber, and then Kaboom. Okay. Then that means we go Star Alliance here. Echo Reflector and Xeno Training. Okay, here comes a double befuddle. Oh, but that means I wasn't able to draw the grunt work. Do they have, what do they have besides double befuddle? Uh, Covetous Hema. Oh, they only had one befuddle? Ooh, it went to discard. Beautiful. So I can only play Star Alliance. Okay. Yeah, I'll fight there. I'll play out that. And more, I did that because I knew I'd be drawing grunt work, which isn't great, but at least gets me a pip. I don't have any cards in my draw pile, so I couldn't make a token. Ooh, Brick Nasty. What other Brobnar do they have? Guji Dinosaur Hunter. So they can fight with it and get an Ember from Brick Nasty. Oh, but they... S oh, they had a damage from Flamethrower. Dang. And press gang. Okay, so I gotta get to check here. I think Mars is away. I can tax them. I can get to check. And if I use the SVB lander, I can also get rid of the researcher. I guess in Star Alliance, I could also get to check at six and fight off the researcher. I actually like that play. I wouldn't tax them though. They have four in the archives, so they have their Memrox play ready to go. So this is getting dangerous. So let's let's go Mars in. Oh, I forgot I didn't have anything to make a token. That was a mistake.
But the question is, is can they get me off check? They have the Mixitol minded, so definitely they can, right? And they can probably get the check. So what can I do? Ooh, dang. Airlock discards press gang. They want another Mars card probably that they could archive. Scoop up. Genetic Blast. Oh, they took their archives. Okay, that's that's good. So they still might be able to get the check here. They archive clone home with researcher instead of playing it. Oh, because they want to get the check with the Memrox. Okay. If they don't kill my guy, okay, that's it, right? That's it. They still have five in hand. Ooh, that's it. Okay, so I can get them off check. Oh, this is a tight, tight game. So I stratos smack the researcher. Berserker, I almost screwed that up. Berserker fights in the tall minded. I almost screwed up so that I couldn't Berserker slam. Berserker slam the rebel. Get hammer. Now, did they draw rent and arrive is a question. Hopefully not. Or they could also be Fuddle crushing deep. They could have drew into a lot of good stuff. Ooh, it's getting tight, tight, tight. I did draw on the Xeno training. Oh, here comes Unfathomable. Befuddle Crushing Deep would be crushing. Skullback Crab. They also have double Hematis whatever. Hematis co co Covetous Hema. <laughs> uh, they got the Befuddle. Do they have the Crushing Deep? Into Brobnar. They have the Crushing Deep. And I don't think I have a way to stop them. So I cannot play anything other than Brobnar. Yeah, I don't think I can do it. Their keys cost seven right now. Because the Memrox, or I mean the mix, sorry. Can't play Xeno Training. Xeno Training would have been able to get them off. Yeah, I could make a token creature and use it. Doesn't really help me. That is unfortunate. Uh, 
So close. So close. That hurts. This is a key forge. Good games, yeah. Crazy set of games. They've got a cool deck. Um, very cool deck. Let's see. Oh yeah, they can scoop up, put two in their archive, and then they use research archive. They can get a lot of cards in the archive quickly, which helps them set up the crazy Memrox plays. All right. Yeah, if I could have stopped them there without the Bifuddle, they could have stalled more, but I could have kept control of their board with, I could have made two Berserkers also in Star Alliance and also use them with the uh, um, SV3 lander. Yeah, cool decks. Winds of Exchange is so cool. Um, I like I like the cool stuff he had going on here though with uh, researchers with the double mic club to set up the big Memrox play. And I didn't have any scaling ember. Like uh, Ranton Rives would have been huge. I could never get much off my Marzini's ember because they don't have a lot of creatures. So I just had to use them when I got any value out of them. Um, yeah, cool play. I c potentially could have used my Echo Reflector more um, strategically, although with the Befuddle, I think if you got it, you just got to get it out there because they could just Befuddle away your options. Oh, they pulled this deck playing some casual matches at the Philly Vault. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah, Replay Pod is a cool card. Um, that can set up... They have Mars. Mars definitely has some bursts with the Rebels... I hadn't seen a pod like that that could do both a Rebel and a Memrox with a big archive um, and then get them back with a replay pod, so that's cool. And then this Unfathomable is nuts with the Triple B Fuddle and the Triple Crushing Deep.
Woodford Reserve? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that was uh, my ABR match for the week. Next week we have a alliance. Let's see, is it best of three? I forget. Um, and I plan to have fresh marks coming up in the next few days to see all the latest high SAS sales. There's been some high winds of exchange. There's, there's been a lot of sales in the last week, plus a lot of offers on some of the decks that we saw before. So should be interesting. And um, yeah, so that's our stream. Thanks everybody for watching. It's always uh, always exciting playing some winds of, ex winds of exchange. And um yeah, have yourselves a wonderful night, evening, wherever you're at, day. Thanks for watching.